What's up, you guys? Trey here. And as you can tell by the title of this video, I'm going to be doing yet another one of the GTA V map videos where I drive around the map. And this time, I'm going to be using Le Fire Truck. This thing is very cool. Went ahead and did my screenshot. Now, you guys have already seen it because it's the title of the video. But, we have this set up in the same spot as I always start in, and I have my timer ready, so we're just going to get straight into it. Well, if this is one of the first videos that I'm going to have to do, is, I do this at the beginning of every video, but if you haven't seen one of these videos, we start right here on the map at this little crossroads. We go down here, I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. We basically stay on the highway, so you can either stay left here, and that brings you down here through Los Santos, or you can swing out here, which is the way that we go. So, when we get to this section here, we stay left and swing out here, just try to stay on the edge of the map. We come into Los Santos, we have to take this road here, and it takes us, and then we start to go back down here we go around here underneath here we stay left and then we go I just zoomed out a little bit too much there and then once we hit here you know we just go up the highway around the edge of the map up back to Polito Bay followed around here and back to the start. So we're gonna go ahead and get this video started in three, two, one. Timer has started and so have we. So this one isn't necessarily a fast vehicle. It's not necessarily a slow vehicle. This one is just a unique one. So yeah, this is a unique vehicle. So yeah, this isn't going too slow, but... I can shoot water out to clean the back of my car. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to do that, though, because I'll crash. The sirens! Maybe next I'll do the police... I or the police car or something. I want to find one of those big green tractors and do that. I want to do a bunch of different cars in this series. I actually thought of this the other night and I love this series. Uh, I'm sure it's kind of boring for you guys just watching me drive. That's why I talk a lot. Instead of playing music, I gotta go here. Keep you guys entertained. Yeah, I gotta go this way, because if I would've went up there, I would've went down straight into Los Santos, but this stays out on the edge. About a minute and 35 seconds this is what we're at right now. Maybe another one I can do is the very old car that's at Richard's Majestic if it's in director mode. There, if you, so the reason that I don't, or you don't see any cars on the highway, if you look in the top right hand corner of your screen, I am in director mode. It just helps. Like if I do the slower ones, I can just do that in. Uh, story mode, I don't have to do director mode, but for ones that kind of get quicker, this helps because some drivers like to be assholes and run run you off the road while you're driving, so. Two minutes and 45 seconds in.
the T20, the fastest car in the game, did this in about uh, 8 minutes and 40 seconds. Hit the brake just a little bit going over that turn. <clears throat> last, or, yeah, the last car I did, I believe, was the big dump truck. It could not fit under this bridge, so I had to stop the timer and go over top of those bridges and then come back on right there. Right here it gets a little more difficult because I have a hill to my left and just grassy fields to my right. So, you know, stay going straight. 3 minutes and 45 seconds. I'm actually making pretty good time. I had to kill two firefighters to get this. Fun fact. Ooh, that was close. Stay in lane. Okay, oh wait, I'm not staying in the lane. Stay in lane. But I don't want to stay in lane. Side, I'm gonna make this turn. Doing good, I'm doing good, I'm doing good. Perfect. I haven't had to let off the accelerator much at all, which is a good thing because that incre you know, decreases your time, my time. The handling on this is actually better than expected, you know going at this high rate of speed. Did I go the right way? Yes, I did. I need to stay right here. I've got the route down now. i just show you guys, for those of you, because if you've never seen one of these videos before, i just show it so that you guys know the route. But I've done it. This will be my fourth time doing the same route, so I've got it down now. Like, the first time I was looking at the map to make sure I was going the right way, I haven't looked at the map once. Although I glanced at it when I just said that. Five, five minutes and 53 seconds. I was looking at the timer. The first episode I did was the old tractor, and that took, that was the one that took 39 minutes and like 30 seconds, or whatever it was. Yeah, that one took 39 minutes. I believe, I'll have to go back and look. And if you're wondering how I chose this route, because it stays on the main highways, and I just, it's the best way to go around the outskirts of the whole map, you know? Instead of having to cut through the middle of Los Santos somewhere, I can stay on the outer edge. Oh, oh, no, no, no. 7 minutes and 16 seconds. I was trying to see the time. I definitely don't want to click the B because I'll lose control. Like with this camera and stuff like that. I don't want to do that. Yeah, no. No, thank you. Well, I'm definitely, definitely not going to beat the T20, but that was already assumed. I would say this will probably be maybe a 12 minute run as opposed to the. And I've been up basically at this speed the entire time until I crashed a couple times with the T20. 
just because, and I did it on director mode with no card, but just because of how fast it was. I think this is the one that I usually, oh yeah. This is the one where another spot where I generally have to slow down because of the barrier here in the middle. Stay to the outside. Yeah, there's no way I can make that turn. Going that speed, there's no way I can make that turn. I had to use that as like a bumper. But hey, that works. Eight and a half minutes we just surpassed. Oh, that one was a bad one, but I'm not... So I don't have to dock any time off for that one. Because I really didn't, like, crash and have to... Like, I lost a lot of speed, but I didn't fully stop and have to restart. Like, if I got turned around, I was able to keep going. So I don't have to dock any time off for that. Nine minutes and 20 seconds. From here, from here on out, it should be easy. I'll probably do two or three episodes today. Look at that, straight as a bullet down the middle of that. I could, I'm not even, oh, I might have to move here a little bit. I was staying perfectly in my lane. I think I'm going to be right at 12 minutes, because I'm at 9 minutes and 55 seconds right now. So I feel like I'm going to be right at 12 minutes. And as long as I don't damage the wheels and it causes me to slow down, I can crash all I want. Well, not necessarily, but once the wheels get damaged and it prevents me from going as quick as this fire truck is capable of going, and then I'm going to have to restart. I can do the beach truck and all that as well. Ten and a half, ten minutes and thirty-five seconds we just surpassed. I've, I don't know, going at this speed, I got twenty seconds, I might be eleven minutes. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. I'm going to say that's right at 11 minutes. Right at 11 minutes. Yep, that was right at 11 minutes. Not bad. Uh, if you guys did enjoy this video, please give it a huge thumbs up, comment, subscribe, tap that bell so you can notify every time we upload, and until next time, peace you guys.